Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Contrary to its name as a get-rich-quick scheme, this leads you slowly into poverty. It is a gold getter, a gyratory cone crusher, the right, just the right size for a backpacking into nasty spots to get the gold. It's a peacock one foot. They don't make them like this anymore. Allow for me to weave for you a tale of woe concerning one brand new Honda Motorb and one not so green Elec Chicken. Recall now the cold snappers of Ot 19 when the solenoid valve on the dishwasher blew out. No, not baby doll. She is so much more than that. She also makes sandwiches. And we had a flood. I had to get the Herman Nelson forced air heater in order to uh, get rid of most of the moisture in the hacienda in order for us not to be growing mold. Ran through about $500 hairs worth of diesel, drying the Jesus thing out, uh, filling every single receptacle right full of diesel last year, mind. Enter the Dewclaw this year doing some fabric cobbling. We'll make a man out of him yet. Scratching his head and nuts, uh, nigh on the better part of a morning, trying to get this Jesus thing to start. Would not start, not for cursing, not for praying, not for nothing. Perk your ears up now, learning close and careful, real listenly, we get to the crux of the matter. Just because something is wet, sloshy, and in a red gasoline jerry can, does not gasoline make. If you're having trouble starting an engine, make sure that you got the right fuel in it. This had been filled with diesel fuel what for drying out the hacienda nigh on a year ago. Mind you me, that's entirely my fault. I take all the blame, but that does not mitigate the fact that he expended a couple of hours wasting his time because he had the wrong fuel. Oh, well, hello. I'm Paulant Abad, he's well at that. It's, uh, somebody must have yelled, there's an inspector coming. Yeah, I guess uh, it's a lesson in knowing your fuel, I guess, eh? Like what? It's a, uh, it's a lesson in uh, keep your enemies close and your frenemies closer. <laughs> Just drain in the residual diesel out of the bowl. Probably not necessary, but... Of course, when you're commissioning something new, you want to fill the tanks right full to the brim <laughs> every time. Yeah, like you said, that one probably works too. And by that one, he means... Uh, the lost footage of Ot 19 concerning the Subaru Robin engine poking over there, which uh, if we get into the fuel tank, you will no doubt find. This is the engine what was formerly on there and couldn't find anything wrong with it other than it wouldn't start. Be crushing some racks like never before. Except for that, that one time a few years ago. We stayed up for seven days, but you know. <laughs> Why you no start? Okay, let me do it the hard way. Oh, oh yeah, oh. it's gonna go. It works! It's working! Just warn me when you start to feel sleepy. Ah oui, c'est pas ta mère, pèse là-dessus! The fractional horsepower belts, I guess the right size on the third time around. I guess we just gotta give it a tug, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all know what happens. <laughs> More throttle. I do like the safety clutch mechanism. That's a, that's a good arrangement. There we go. Safety 
Engage safety squints. Uh, yeah, I'm here for the uh, 5 o'clock free rock giveaway here, Joe Rogan. Any bugs I can eat? Or fucking snakes I can lie down in? Fucking get the fucking thing out. There's some rust. And some thick, viscous material. What's the verdict? <laughs> Fit for the pit, I think. No, I think uh, we fucked this one up too. Diesel. Doing good. Apparently, yeah. This is where you put gasoline. <laughs> He's two for two.